doing well. So we have a new release of Gold 10 to cover here Version in this to video. point for B. 18 point to buy Sistro Sistro dropping us a little Christmas gift. There's lots of other developers who are releasing some new stuff over Christmas time. As well, there's already been a bunch of new I'll releases. I'll probably have a news update for you sometime Going tomorrow. Going over All of the new stuff that has come out over the past but few days. But of course we normally do dedicated videos for so Gold So let's 10. go ahead and dive so in into in this it. version, we've got a new PP e patch to avoid multiple exploitations and that is for the pwn exploit so if you are not using the pwn exploit this feature doesn't really apply to you and then on top of we that we also have package scanning improvements you can go ahead and download this from Sistro's coffee page. You can enter a donation if you want to help support Sistro. I would Sistro. encourage you guys to do that. If you want to support his work and see new versions and of gold. continue to come out. But of course, if you just want the you download. You can enter zero here and get now and it will give you so the download. So of course, if you're using the Pwn exploit, you're gonna want to download this. Extract the golden dot bin file over to your desktop. You don't need the stage to if you were using the previous version. Because there's not been any change as far as I can to see. The stage to loader or the exploit compared to version A. To point for B18's release cell, all you gotta do is copy the golden file to dot. the root of a USB drive. Plug the USB drive into your PS4. Set up the network connections to use PPTPOE with all of the other settings on. The default option automatic DNS and do not use proxy. And then from there, we can get the exploit running. I'm running it on my Lugbox Pico device. And I'm just gonna wait for this to successfully exploit. And once the exploit loads up, we'll get version to point for B. 18 point to loaded, and of course, it will also copy the payload over to the hard drive. And replace the one on the hard drive. So that you have it updated for future use. You will no longer need to use the USB drive to load so that So there version. we go. That's how you get gold hand updated if you're using P the P. exploit. If you're using one of the older browser based Then you'll have exploits. to wait for your exploit host to be but updated. But also make sure that you clear your website data so that it can recatch the latest version of the site with the updated payload available. So with that all set up and we can ready, go ahead and check out a couple of the new features So if we here. go into gold hand, we go down to our settings. We now have this enable PPPO. The patch prevents the console from being exploited again by a P. which could cause instability. I actually have had this happen randomly once with my luck. Fox Pico was running the console for a while, for probably several hours, and then just randomly. I noticed that it started trying to run the jailbreak again, while I already had gold hand running. Even though I hadn't done I anything. I didn't even go into rest mode and recover from rest it mode just or all anything. of a sudden started trying to re-jailbreak the console. And obviously, that's not good. Because if something goes wrong during that it process, it will most likely end up crashing the console. And you might think that it's gold hand instability, when in actual fact it is your, you know, pawn device, your luck fox, Pico. raspberry pie, whatever it is you're using. So enabling this will prevent that from happening. So what we can do is actually try and test this directly so here. So what I'll do is I'll unplug my Look Fox Pico. Plug it back into the console. So it starts trying to jailbreak the console again. And then again. we'll enable this patch to see if it prevents that. Obviously, you should have this enabled to preemptively prevent it from running. But you know we want to see this in action here. So okay, so I've unplugged and replugged in my Look Fox Pico here. So hopefully it should start trying to re jailbreak. Yep, there we go for two for two for two. So it's trying to jailbreak. And let's quickly go ahead and see what happens. If we enable this patch, this could actually cause a crash ourselves by doing this. Cause really, we should have this enabled before it tries to run the jailbreak again. So let's see what happens here. So I've re enabled the patch. Okay, there we go. Cannot connect to network. And nothing, it's not doing another attempt. So it looks like that has successfully blocked it. I can see the red light flashing on my luck fox indicating Pico. that it's trying to still run the jailbreak. But there's no IP being obtained now. Uh, Let's also test internet connection and see what happens here. Yes, so interesting. It's not even failing the IP address But it's check. also not finding the IP address either. So, it looks like the connection is being successfully blocked here by So go. that will just prevent your phone device. Your luck fox Or Pico. whatever device you're using from trying to run the jailbreak For again. For whatever reason, while you're already running gold hand. It will just block that PPOE connection for you. And that will stop any instability or random crashing. That would be caused from that.
Although there are certain circumstances where you probably will not want to use like this. Like in the case of the Raspberry Pi method, where the Raspberry Pi is able to actually its internet share connection with the PS for over PPoE. Once it's successfully loaded the jailbreak, that way you don't have to change your network settings over on to the Wi -Fi PS4 to get an internet connection after running the exploit and having to switch your network settings back and forth. That's not required with the Raspberry Pi. But if you have this feature enabled, it will likely block the internet sharing capability of the Raspberry Pi, which is one of the main features why you would use that so method. So in those cases, you would probably not want to have but for this pretty enabled, much all the other devices. They do not share internet over P. PPO in which case you can enable this to prevent it from accidentally running the jailbreak when golden again. is already running okay so to demonstrate the next we feature need to here, go into the debug package settings. installer and enable the subdirectory scan so this of course scans all of the folders on your usb drive looking for any package files that are in there and one of the problems with this method is that if you have a lot of files on your if USB, you're using like an external hard drive, and you have lots of folders in there that have lots of subdirectories. Like in my example here, I actually have a minus couple one of game PS, dumps that are on my USB drive, and they have lots of folders, lots of subdirectories, lots of so files. So whenever I go to the package installer with here, with this USB drive connected, you will see that it gets stuck saying, "Please wait for a long time," as it has to skin all of those folders, looking for any package. Package files that are and in that there. is one of the issues that has been in addressed. this new version this new version adds options to essentially ignore specific folders on your USB drive so it will not scan those and it will load them faster the way you do this there's two methods one is to rename any folders that you do not want scanned and just add a dot at the beginning of the folder name and then the package installer will ignore that folder so that is the quickest way to do it. Although in many cases, you might not want to be renaming your folders. So, the other option is to create a new file inside one of these folders. In the root of that folder. And call that file.ignore. So just .ignore you can do this with a notepad in Windows. Just create a new notepad document in and Windows. And then you don't have to enter you anything You can just in save it. it as a blank document using file type as all files. And then you can just call it .ignore and save it into the folder that you do not want to be scanned. And that's all you gotta so do So I'm there. gonna do that to these two folders. One of them I have renamed as just dot with the folder name. And then the other one. I have put a dot .ignore file inside instead of renaming the folder. And we will see what happens. Now, when we plug this USB drive in and go back to the package installer. And as installer, you can see when we select it here, the package files appear instantly because those game dump folders were ignored. So that's the other new feature that's been added in this version Golden, of. so those are the two main features. You've got your disable pwn when running Goldhen to prevent. You know subsequent exploits. And which will cause instability and potential crashing. So that's features been added in the settings menu. And then in the debug you've settings. You've got the new ignore options for the subdirectory scans. So that you don't end up having to wait a long time. For it to scan all of the directories. On your USB or external hard drive. If you have drive, lots of folders in there with many, many other subdirectories and files. Now there's a bunch of been. new things that have also been by released. By other developers in the scene. So expect another news update Covering pretty all soon. of the new releases. But anyway, that's it for Hope this one. Hope you guys one. enjoyed this video or found the if information useful. If you did, please useful. leave a like and...